the Donmar is a brilliant space for this play. I think it's a piece that has a really strong feel of a kind of campfire vibe to it that everyone sort of communes around and, and this space is perfect for that because it's so intimate. The set um, is sort of deceptively simple and looks like the kind of thing that you design and then it stays that way for the rest of the process. And actually almost everything in this room has shifted uh, incrementally as we've gone through the rehearsals. The bar was too tall, which was only something we were going to be able to tell when we had the actors in and we knew who they were and how tall they were. It's slightly shorter now than it was before. It's come downstage more. Um, and it's all just about how the piece has evolved through rehearsals. Quite a large part of our process was to ensure that we had a kind of an authentic room as we possibly could, and that meant getting the real materials for a lot of things. Obviously, when it's a set build, sometimes things are fake. And a massive giveaway in this space is the floor, simply because of the sound, really, and people walking on it. You can tell a million miles away if it's a scenic painted floor on, a, on, on the ply or if it's a stone floor. And with this, more than anything, we really wanted to be able to feel with this floor that the guys in the pub sensed the sound of Dervla walking across the space. It's very different from the shuffle of Jack. We have the downstage pillar and the stove which act as sort of anchors for the cast to stay around basically while the stories and the piece are being told. Because otherwise when you try and get someone downstage there's nothing there. There's no reason for them to go downstage other than for something quite theatrical. So the introduction of these two things makes it feel much more honest and truthful the, the way that these people move around the room. behind Brendan's bar and it's just a complete hodgepodge of stuff. He's obviously got his drinks and things for a uh, few people that come to this bar but he also sells uh, all sorts of other bits and pieces. It's almost like a kind of convenience store as, as well as just a, a bar. There's a real joy in being able to sort of really invest in those characters and kind of put that level of detail into, into something. As I say, not that many people are going to really notice it, but you notice the effect that it has on you via the actors because they feel it uh, intimately. Now I want a beer. Yeah. <laughs>